Okay, a little bit of a leap forward. Um, I apologise for that, guys. Um, my camera ran out of um, space and I didn't notice. <laughs> so you haven't missed much. All I um, all I did was uh, spray a base of red on the boots, um, then added a couple of drops of um, like a dark bluey purple to the paint that I had already in the mix cup. So just darkened down the red a little bit and just uh, brushed in some shadows um, and that's all I did. You haven't missed much. So next, that's as far as I want to take the boots for now. Uh, I'll be working on them a lot more. That's not how they're going to be in their entirety. That's it. Um, I will be adding some more details to them later. I like to kind of get a, a rough kind of a, a rough painting done first and then I'll go in later with more paints um, some pencils uh, even a scalpel blade to scrape some highlights in a bit later on but you'll see that as we go along um, so for now we're gonna start on the skirt and uh, we're gonna go for a, a kind of like a classic military kind of um, outfit so we're gonna go for like a like a brownie green that typical military brownie green so uh, first job is to mask it off because we want it nice and crisp again like the boots so we'll do what we did before we'll get a bit of that masking film and a bit of tracing paper and we'll just mask off the the skirt bit right so first paint we're gonna start with is uh, Sorry about my lighting, you can't see that very well. Tim Gore's Bloodline. Uh, diseased Umber. I have a message. Now this is uh, quite a dark paint actually so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce it a bit and then just use the white of the artboard showing through so I'll um, I'll spray it a bit heavier in the shadowed areas and leave it nice and thin in the light areas you'll see what I mean where's my reducer there is my reducer dum, 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 dum. and again just the um, createx 4012 reducer for this and I am going I've got 10 drops of the paint in my paint cup I'm adding 5 drops of the reducer Whatever percentage that works out at. It's late at night. I can't be bothered to work it out. <laughs> hey, I draw pictures for a living. You can't expect me to be good at maths. And the colour we've got... I'll find a spot that you can see, alright? Is... There you go. Massive spidering because of the um, reduction, but... There you go, that's the colour I've got. So I'll start with a light dusting, just to give the whole area the right colour. I've got a little blockage in my airbrush. And now I'll go in, in the shadowed areas and just add some more paint just to darken it up a bit. And everybody wants to talk to me. I'm busy. Uh, 
That's called the Clear Your Throat Boogie. Just thought I'd share that with you. Don't you feel lucky? God's sake, I've got a girl blockage in here. You see me use these quite a lot, just freehand shields, um, just for that reason basically, they're freehand shields, they come in handy. Save your mask and loads of stuff off all the time. Right, I've got to clear this out because that's ridiculous. Right, hopefully we've got the blockage out now, <laughs> so we can continue. Okay, there's an error right there. Bloody airbrush spat. So we're going to take a hiatus. I'm going to clean this out properly and we'll come back. Okay, so you saw my airbrush get a blockage and do a spit. Uh, so the only real way to fix something like that is to paint over it and make that bit a dark bit on the dress. I think I've still got the blockage as well, damn it. Now I'll just use a paintbrush uh, using the paint that's in my paint cup and, uh, and just bring out a couple of those details that are a bit too fiddly to airbrush. So I've got my old Hydra and Steamback Infinity on this, I've added a, a few drops of uh, Bloodline Illustration Decay. It's uh, it's just a bit darker than this stuff. And I'm just going to go in and add some more darker details. There you go, that, that's what it looks like. It's more of a brown. So now we can um, peel this mask off because that's the the base colours sort of thing. Mm. 
nice and gentle. Just like that. So there you go, there's part two. I hope you found it useful. I decided to leave in the um, troubles I was having with my airbrush. Um, just to show you that, you know, it, it doesn't always go smoothly. Uh, sometimes, you know, even a tiniest fleck of paint can cause you all sorts of grief. And um, that day it was not going smoothly at all. <laughs> but I figured I'd leave it in just to show you, you know. Um, it doesn't always go smoothly and according to plan and all that lot and figured you might find it useful. Um, part three on its way soon. As you can see over my shoulder there, I've uh, got a lot more done than um, is in the current videos. So there's plenty more footage to come. I'll get that edited and put together as quickly as I can. Um, enough waffle. If you found this video useful and liked it, please smash that thumb down there somewhere uh, to give this video a like because it helps my channel out more than you can imagine uh, if you haven't currently subscribed then please do um, there's another button on one of these sides here somewhere uh, to subscribe and if you'd like email notifications of every time I upload something then uh, hit the bell that pops up too thanks for watching and the next part will be up soon cheers